Hello friends, it's Kim Baker, formerly from Kim's Creative Corner, but we are in the process of changing the blog and all of my sites to horsing around stamping. So be on the lookout for that big change in our future. But um, today I wanted to videotape this craft desk that I made for a challenge for my upline, Linda Bowen. And um, I don't know about you, but I just love all of these die cuts that are in the new Crafting With You set um, in the bundle. The bundle comes with uh, lots of Lots of fun die cuts, uh, the stampin' trimmer, scissors, um, you can ribbon, or spools of thread, um, I can't think of what they call this, I know it's a hoop, but um, lots of cool stuff, there's a sewing machine, and yarn, just a fun, fun set, there's an easel, so um, here are some of the items on this. Of course, we have our stamp and cut and emboss, which we're going to use today. And look at these little spools of thread or ribbon. They're just so fun. And scissors. And a ruler. So much fun. So, um, every crafter needs this set, in my humble opinion, of course. So, but I know you came here to see how to make this card. So, let's get started. We started with, I guess I'll put out all these out real quick, so you can take a screenshot if you'd like. But these are the pieces that I started with just for the base of the project, not including what I cut out for the little um, die cuts. But there you have that. Okay, so we're going to score this big piece together after we move all of these. Okay. So I want to end up with a template like this and let me just lay this over here and you can screenshot this as well if that's helpful. Um, might be more helpful if I put it on the black piece. There you go. You'll need this. And the support mechanism, that's what they look like when they're cut out. But we're going to make this one today. So let me get my hands out of the way so you can screenshot that. Okay. Now, we're going to leave that there for reference. And we're going to go ahead and get started on this piece with our trimmer. Actually, I better move it. My trimmer's not going to fit all the way in in the view here. So we'll do the best that we can. But on our um, four and a quarter, we want to be on our four and a quarter side. We're going to score at two inches. Okay. And then we're going to flip it over with our two and a quarter side to the top. And we're going to put our, our paper at three and a half. And we are going to cut down to the score line, back up, and we're going to score on the bottom of that. Okay, now we are going to move over to the five and a quarter mark. 
and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut down to the score line, which you can see because we have a little notch in our in our cutter, cutting blade. And then we're going to come up and we're going to score from the bottom up. Now we're going to move over to eight and three quarters. Eight and three quarters, same thing. We're going to cut down to the score line and up to, we're going to score to the, up to the score line. And then we're going to go to ten and a half. And we're just going to score this one because we're going to cut the whole piece off. So let's just score here. Okay. Now, all we're going to do, we're going to cut from the end down to this cut and you can see the score line in your trimmer okay take that out and then we want to cut this piece on the score line we're going to bring our cutter down to the five and three quarters mark on our on our trimmer here and we're gonna go down to seven and a half okay. and there we go all right let's get our trimmer out of the way and for those of you wondering the yellow it's just a piece of cardstock that I cut so I can see the numbers easier when I'm when I'm using this side as a guide so um, okay so now oh one thing I forgot I forgot we need a, a half an inch lip here so I forgot to do that bring that back and I'm gonna use the this side of the cutter we're just going to move to half an inch and we only want to do this edge here if you can see with our with our template just this half an inch there and we're going to score that okay now we're done So I want to miter this before we go any further. I'm going to miter these half an inch scored areas, just both of these real quick. Okay. And we have a support mechanism that's one and three quarters by four and a half. And I just scored it half an inch from each side. Easy peasy. So I don't think you needed to see me do that um, on the camera there. But one is a mountain fold. The other is a valley fold. Okay. And let's see our next step would be we are going to put this support mechanism okay we want it to go between the two short areas because they're going to be our sides so you can see here how that works um so i'm going to glue it and then close it I hope I don't have to bang my Tombow glue. It doesn't, it's kind of low. Okay. 
And I'm just putting it so that this edge is, I'm eyeballing it about halfway through between that short square line. And kind of centered on there. Hold that for a minute. Now I'm going to fold this back and I'm going to add glue to that. And then we're going to fold this over on it. Okay. Now I want to glue this flap here that we mitered. And I'm going to fold the other side on top of that. And this way we know if we fold it this like this, we know it's going to fold flat just as you see it in an envelope. This is a regular A2 card. Let's see what happens. Now we're flat. Or flatter this way than this way, but that's okay. That'll be how we're that's how we want to fold our card. So the mitered edge that we that we did. We're going to just fold it, and that becomes our desk. Cool, right? So, on this, um, to make the legs, I just used our lasting label punch, and kind of eyeballed it I eyeballed it while the desk was open though so I can get my punch in there further and I tried to go um, just like down where these points are maybe a little past the points I want it to look like fancy, fancy table legs. And then I did the support. Same thing. The support's a little bit shorter. So you can go a little bit shorter. I kind of eyeballed looking through the first one. And the same thing on the back. And there's your table legs. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? And then I like the rounded look of the top of that. So I used, I forgot to bring it out. Have to get it. No, I didn't. I think I used... I don't remember what I used. Maybe it was the ladybug punch because I did the ladybug punch for the chair. So I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that and get back to you. I can't remember. It's been so long ago, don't you know? Oh, I do know. I used the ladybug wings. Or not <laughs> I'll get back to you on that I can't remember I think it might have been a circle punch anyway oh yes here we go my goodness so I just stuck it around in the body of the ladybug sounded easy didn't it there my goodness, that was difficult. Sorry about that. Um, here we go. Okay. Now we just need to decorate it. That's the easy part, right? 
So I started by adding a piece of our good old grid paper, one and a half by three and a quarter. And a piece of our countryside and designer series paper, one and three quarters by three and a quarter. Okay. And then then I have already stamped and die cut our little cut and emboss machine. This is the big one. I call her Big Bossy. Kind of sounds familiar. I, I might have been called that once or twice before, I think. Um, I get my dimensionals. Side note, I know I've shared this on social media. I think I did a TikTok video on it, but um, fun way to use your dimensionals without having all these little pieces floating around your house. Add some shipping tape to the top of them. Use your bone folder to push it down really well. Then when you peel them back, all you have to do is lift, lift them with your take your pick tool. And I cut mine in little pieces for the smaller areas, but um, and I always use the edges can't leave any waste you know so that thing I love that tip and it works great so my dimensionals on my big bossy I'm just stuck her right there and now I'll get her adorable oh my goodness this is just so cute I just love it um, our paper trimmer and I have a piece of one and a half by one and three quarters and I went ahead ta-da stamped it all for you so that we're well for me really I guess so that I was ready to go and I just kind of stuck it in far enough that you can tell what it says probably should have left a little bit left it a little bit wider but that's okay and I just used dimensionals on, on this too and I put it so it was up far enough to touch the edge here and then we have an adorable pair of scissors. Um, they were cut with a silver specialty paper. Um, that was the first set. And then I cut a set with the new Lemon Lolly, which I might kind of really love. Um, between that and all the blues, I'm a very happy camper with the colors right now. Um, so we cut, I cut a pair, a full pair of the lemon lolly scissors and then there's a little indent line on them and I just cut them off with the indent line and glued them glued the handles on top of the the silver full scissors that I cut out but I'm going to pop those up as well All right, and then we have a piece of two and a half by three and a quarter basic white cardstock. And 
voila already stamped and we're just gonna add this to the back if we can get some glue out and it takes away from that score line because you definitely don't want to burnish that line when you're cutting this base. Okay. And I tied a ribbon. This is from our in color, um, our new in color ribbons. I can't remember the specific name of it, but I'm just gonna put that up on a glue dot when I find my glue dots. or two and stick it on the corner oh i almost forgot my chair we wouldn't want to forget the chair okay here is the chair it was made using my ladybug punch so i just punched out the bottom I just punched out the body of the ladybug and I cut her antennas off and this is in the Azure Afternoon um, cardstock and again I used the silver specialty paper and I cut a piece of or scissors out but I didn't cut them fully out because I knew that they would stick over the ladybug so and then I just glued them to the back of the ladybug body and this one I did in the rose gold, but um, this one's done in silver. So, um, and I just popped that up in dimensionals. Can't forget our desk chair. Goodness, that would not be good. Let me just stuck. I want to make sure that that it's even with the ground so that it sits correctly and ta-da there you go fun 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 card that folds flat and you can put it in an envelope to mail Fun, right I hope you enjoyed this today if you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to reach out to me I will put all of the items I used um, on the bottom of this video and if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up like it share it and if you do not have a Stampin Up demonstrator I would love to be your demonstrator. Just reach out to me. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.